When a woman decides she's ready to have a baby, she often takes steps to ensure a healthy pregnancy. These may include eating a balanced diet, taking prenatal vitamins, and exercising regularly, though they aren't the only things to consider, according to research from the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, part of the National Institutes of Health. Environmental factors such as air and water pollution, pesticides, and solid waste, for example, affect not only a woman's ability to get pregnant, but also the physical development of a child, both as a fetus and as the youngster progresses through adolescence. Alan Wilcox is a researcher in the NIEHS epidemiology branch and studies how environmental exposures affect human reproduction. We sat down with him recently to discuss the environment's involvement in fertility, pregnancy, and childhood development. It's our mission at NIEHS to understand how the environment affects people so that we can help promote healthier lives. Our institute has taken part in scientific breakthroughs in several areas, including environmental factors that affect the risk of birth defects, preterm delivery, and poor childhood development. One of these advances has to do with folic acid. Folic acid is an important vitamin that is found in green leafy vegetables. Many people know that folic acid reduces the risk of serious birth defects of the brain and the spine. But did you know that folic acid also reduces the risk of facial clefts, cleft lip and cleft palate? This was shown in a study carried out by NIEHS. But it's not enough to start taking folic acid when you know you're pregnant. These deformities happen very early in the baby's development. And if you don't start taking vitamins until you have symptoms of pregnancy, you may be too late. So one of the most important things you can do before getting pregnant is to start taking multivitamins that include folic acid. Also, if you're a smoker, it's time to stop. NIEHS scientists were the first to show that smoking reduces a woman's fertility. This finding has been confirmed many times by other researchers. Smoking also increases the chances of your baby dying in the uterus and infant mortality after birth. So do yourself and your baby a favor and give up cigarettes. Some pregnant women worry that getting a vaccination might hurt their baby. There is no reason for this worry. Our institute recently worked with researchers in Norway to study the flu epidemic of 2009. We found that the babies of pregnant women who got the flu vaccine did fine. However, women who got the flu during pregnancy had an increased risk of fetal death. It appears that influenza itself is bad for the fetus. So if you're planning to get pregnant, or if you're already pregnant, it's a very good idea to get a flu shot. After your baby is born, the environment continues to shape itself. A good example of how NIH has helped protect the environment is the story of leaded gasoline. All gas used to contain lead. NIEHS supported some of the research that caused lead to be taken out of gasoline. This has dramatically reduced lead pollution in the air, and it has greatly reduced children's exposure to lead. Lead exposure can cause a lot of problems in children. Everything from slowed muscle and bone development, to muscle incoordination, to slowed language and speech. Taking the lead out of gasoline was a big victory, not only for children, but for all of us who breathe the air. As researchers at the nation's only institute devoted to the study of environmental health, it's our job to understand how environmental factors might hurt pregnancy or babies or children. We take this mission seriously, and if we do our job well, we'll help create a healthier environment not just for our generation, but for generations to come.